after wrestling his high school at Pope John the 23rd. Off we go. The Buckeyes will be in their gray tops. Rutgers in primarily red. What makes Luke Pletcher such an effective wrestler? I mean, you're seeing it right now. He just He's so diverse in his attacks. He's really slick. He hits good duck unders, good shots. Um, he just score anywhere. And he scores when he wants to. Sometimes he plays a defensive battle because he can rely on that. Um, but when he opens up his offense, he can score a lot of different ways. So if you're a guy like Jojo Aragona, who is clearly talented, and I don't want to pin this as a David versus Goliath matchup, Jojo is very talented. Right. But if you've never wrestled against a guy that has accomplished what Luke has done, <clears throat> what, what is your mindset going into a match like this? Where do you try to play to your strengths? Uh, if I'm JoJo, I'm just trying to get a feel for him. There's two more competitions, the, uh, the Big Tens and the NCAAs, where they could see each other in this dual meet. If I'm JoJo, I'm just trying to gain information, trying a whole bunch of diverse attacks, try different things, see what works hopefully implement them, work on them for uh, a later meeting. Almost every one of the weight classes tonight is likely to see a first-time matchup between the two guys. There's only one potential matchup this evening where guys have seen each other before. We'll get to that a little bit later on as it comes in uh, later in the night. Ooh, nice outside shot from Aragona. Low on the knee, much to get a stalemate, and there it is. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with the fact that half of Rutgers' lineup is freshmen. They have a primarily young and primarily New Jersey native roster. Mm -hmm. But frankly, considering the year they're coming off of where they had two individual national champions at uh, two of the smaller weight classes, and with what head coach Scott Goodale has been able to put together, I'm not surprised they have such a good freshman class coming in. Mm -hmm. and it's a great, uh, great experience for those guys tonight. Yeah. A success like that, they had had a nice outside double by Luke. Has to switch off to a single. Works up. Still, taking his time now. Still looking for the first points of the entire first round. Treetop. Eric going trying to use the edge of the mat. Luke's going to try to drag him back in. Plenty of time, 45 seconds. Trips. Outstanding. Two-point takedown. The Buckeyes on the board. Officially out. Pletcher just wasn't going to let that opportunity get away from him. No, and that's uh, that senior experience. You get in that situation, there's plenty of time on the clock. Just take your time. He's not going anywhere. You got his leg. Take your time, get the finish. And Jojo Aragona is one of two guys most likely that we'll see tonight that is not from New Jersey. A lot of in state talent staying at Rutgers. Rutgers trying to become one of the upper echelon programs in the Big Ten, but of course Big Ten wrestling is so good. It's mm -hmm. a, a steep hill to climb. I mean, you look at the national rankings, Iowa, Nebraska, Penn State, Ohio State, Wisconsin, right on down the line. Northwestern, Minnesota, I mean, there are some really, really good programs. And officially, they leave the circle. Yeah, being in that Big Ten conference is a blessing and a curse. <laughs> you know, it, people want to be Big Ten wrestlers. It's good for recruiting. But it's a, it's a bear of a schedule. You know, it can wear on you, but at the same time, you get to see a lot of high-level talent. Late arriving crowd here tonight. There are a bunch of folks already in their seats. Quick start for Luke Pletcher. We're going to get a restart. 28 seconds of riding time in his favor with just 16 left on the clock in the first period. Pletcher trying to start the Buckeyes off on the right foot. Hangs on to his legs. They stay in the ring. Short time. That's Luke good just, work. Just going to hang on. Luke's really well done by Pletcher there in the uh, opening three minutes. He'll choose to start down. We'll get a look there at head coach Scott Goodale. He was the NCAA tournament coach of the year last year. Mm -hmm. They went from never having an NCAA champion to having two in the same season. How about that? Uh, with both guys being in-state talent. No doubt. You know, it's, it was certainly uh, perhaps a bit disappointing as Pletcher gets the one-point escape. Perhaps a, a little disappointing that Nick Suriano is not wrestling for Rutgers this year because he is as good as they've had in a long good time. Go behind him. Shot for Luke. Give him two more. And they get pushed out of the ring. Yeah, Nick, Nick Suriano taking that Olympic red shirt. 
wrestled at the U.S. Open, got fourth place there, qualifies him for the Olympic trials. Of course, Anthony Ashnall also won a national championship last year at the 149-pound weight class. Buckeyes certainly remember that one. Yep. Micah Jordan got upset by Ashnall. Yeah, they met quite a few times that season. National championships were in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania last year. This year they'll meet in Minneapolis. What do you think about the strategy here from Jojo Aragona working away from the center of the ring a bunch? Um, I, I think he's you know, potentially trying to get that fresh start yeah. off the whistle if he doesn't get you know, away right away. If Luke's able to get his position where he wants, it can be a little bit tougher to get away. If you can get out, get that fresh start. As you see, try to clear away there off the whistle. Pletcher 15-0 on the season. He's 5-0 in dual meets. Five major decisions, two tech falls, two pins. And not a guy that's usually bonusing. But uh, this season, going up a weight, he's, he's just on another level, opening up his offense and getting those bonus points. 5-1 Pletcher. Second part of the second period. Not a whole lot of energy right now in the building. The folks are waiting for Pletcher to do something to give them a reason to cheer. Yeah, taking a couple half shots. Not committing to anything quite yet. About 30 seconds left in the second. Do you feel the pressure of being the first guy in the ring at the start of the, the start of the match? Yeah, here we go. Uh, scoring a lot off his defense. He gets the takedown. Snap go behind. Um, yeah, to answer your question, yes. I know Nathan Tomasello, being a 125 pounder, he had to start a lot of matches. Um, and he did feel a lot of pressure having to set the pace for the match, you know, getting the team, um, you know, pumped up. If he, if he goes out there and loses, it, you know, put, puts a damper on the other guys. Um, but him going out and win gets, just gets the ball rolling. So I'm sure Luke's feeling that right now. JoJo Aragona wrestling tonight instead of Zach Firestone, who's a redshirt junior, was uh, also a possibility at 141. Luke going to ride him out to finish the second period. He's got a lot of riding time here. About 36 through the first two. As you get a look at head coach Tom Ryan. I'll tell you what, when you talk about recruiting and how important it is, we mentioned it for Rutgers. I'm not sure you'd have to do a whole lot of salesmanship if you bring a recruit into a venue like this on top of the, the tradition and history of the Ohio State program, which is in its 100th year. Tom Ryan is... Had a pretty darn impressive run in the top five in the country several years in a row at the national championships. And now he's got uh, an unbelievable venue that people want to come to. Mm -hmm. And Coach Goodale, shop area going on the edge, going to be action. Uh, implementing a strategy that Tom Ryan used very effectively is keeping your in-state talent at home. Tom Ryan, you know, he wanted to build a wall around Ohio because Ohio has a ton of talent. And he's had a lot of success with Ohio guys while also bringing in uh, outside guys. But New Jersey's just rife for talent, especially now they've just, they've just been exponentially increasing. Um, you just see that state having more and more success on the collegiate level. So he's trying to keep that New Jersey talent home sure. as he's been doing pretty successfully. It's Luke close to finishing this shot. He has both legs. Finally gets is. the two points. So the Buckeyes have a seven-point lead. The question is, can Luke pick up at least one more and mm -hmm. so make yeah, this a major decision? Couldn't either, either ride out, ride this period out, get that ride time to get the eight point, or uh, kick him and let him up and then don't even worry about the ride time. A minute 13 is a while to ride, but he's, he's had no trouble yet. Looks like he's going to kick him. All right, so it's 9-3. Riding time in his favor. A lot of pressure on the edge by Luke. Going to hit Aragon for stalling there. So far, I think we've been pretty well officiated. Mm -hmm. One minute remaining here in the third period. Pletcher all the way to the edge of the ring. Lots of pressure. Action called there. Luke's definitely coming at him. Wants that major. Hard to blame him. They're going to try to go for the leg move and 
That did not work out well at all. That's at least three or four takedowns that Luce gotten off of Eric going to shot, just timing him really well, down blocking and getting the go behind. Talk about that defense. It's not always letting him get to your leg and fighting him. It's anticipating it, not even getting to that point. Well, he's locked up at least an extra point here for riding time at the end of this third period, which could make it potentially 12-3. Looking toward a major decision here to start Ohio State with a team lead. Luke gets him flattened out on the edge. He can't afford to give up the escape, but it looks like he's going to want the ride out here. Finally, they leave the ring. There's nine seconds left on this restart. So the number one wrestler in the country at 141 pounds has done his job quite well here this evening. Well, Granby attempt by Aragona, successful, gets away. Very well done. Needs a point here if he's going to stave off the major, but going to run out of time. All right, so it's a major decision for Luke Pletcher, 12-4 at 141, and the Buckeyes have a 4-0 lead. Well done, Luke Pletcher, major decision tonight.